Hi, it's uh, but Tuesday, November the 3rd, I think. I'm losing count. Anyway, um, I rolled up into uh, Holbrook, Arizona last night uh, about 8 o'clock uh, local time. Uh, and I'm here this morning or this afternoon. It's uh, about 70 degrees. I'm just curious about the temperature wherever I go because I'm going to go to colder and colder places. Anyway, so I got here late, so I wasn't really able to shoot any of the, the video of this location, but this is like mother load so far of what I've seen of Route 66 stuff. Um, so anyway, I'm going to turn it over to the video. I, I knew nothing about this one. I didn't do any research. The uh, person who works here won't go on camera, but she said that the owner's son, uh, the, the owner who built the place, might be willing to talk to me. So I am going to shoot this one just in case he won't talk to me, just so I have it. But this is really cool. If you're a car person like me, you will have died and gone to heaven. So, here we go. So, what you see as you drive in, if I don't get hit by this car that's moving beside of me, is you see this. This is how what you see. Um, <clears throat> it looked really spectacular with the sign lit up at night. Um, but you start with this old Studebaker truck here. It's probably going to be a long one, folks, because got a lot of ground to cover. And then, of course... It looks to me like an old gas station. Uh, maybe it was supposed to be like that. I've done no research on this venue um, because I just didn't do it. So this is a Ford Ranch wagon two-door um, from the 50s. And I'm gonna see if nobody's looking. If <laughs> we can get inside there. And yes. We are inside. I mean, this baby looks like you could get in her and drive her on Route 66 if you dared. I mean, <clears throat> I don't think I would, but not for very far, at least. Uh, ooh, this is really cool. Look at that. Oh, man, that's way cool. Um, I don't think I've ever seen one of these in real, in real life. Um... <clears throat> So, we go. Um, yeah, I wanted somebody to just give me the history. Rather than just read it, I thought it might make it a little more interesting than what I could read and then try to remember and get from a cue card. And here's another Ford. Um, you know, I'm not real good on my 50s cars, so I'm going to have to call upon my cousin Jamie to uh, identify this i mean i'm suspecting it's by the way it looks it's probably a 55 to 57 because it looks like it would compete with a 57 chevy and again we're gonna see if <gasps> i am the luckiest boy in the world today let me tell you if every one of these cars is open i am gonna be happy 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 so look at that <laughs> I mean, this is amazing. Look at this, look at this. Oh my gosh, it looks pristine. Oh man, oh wow. And then here's a, a teepee that looks like nobody actually stays in it. So maybe there is something magical about it. Um, well, it's, Certainly not made for a full-size person, so right, the door's locked. But, oh, looks like it might be a bathroom. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so I, I here, run back over here. Probably I should have cut this video up a little bit, but, you know, I'm not a professional filmmaker. <laughs> All right, so we have, we have another Ford, so um, maybe the uh, original owner has a thing about Fords. Uh, I don't know. Uh, this is a Ford Crestline, I know, I think. Um, no, custom line. Yeah, again, I don't know my early 50s Fords. Um, quite that. Oh, yeah, yeah, baby. Oh, this one looks a little... Like it's been around the block a few times, but... Look at that. 
Oh, the horn doesn't work. <laughs> Look at that. And the smell. Custom line, yeah, there's the name right there. Wow. Yeah, this one's a little worn, huh? Um, this one's definitely going to go on Jay's car show, too. I'm going to actually break this up because it is five minutes uh, long. So uh, I'm going to do another one um, as I go long. All right.